It's your girl Ash and I am back with another video and today I'm going to be checking out Sirless Patterson. I've seen the comments. This was highly recommended. You guys stated that this is another character created by Barry Humphreys and Sirless Patterson is on the Don Lane show. Before I get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Definitely hit that like button. Enough of me talking. Let's get straight into this reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Not him drooling. Oh my god, that is disgusting. And why is he dirty? <laughs> He dirty, he drunk, he got his cigarette. He's giving me um <laughs> He's giving me what is it called? What do you call it? Um those old car salesmen. That's what he looks like. Why is he drooling? drool is that drool all on his all, like right there is that drool it, it that bruh what look at his teeth oh my god what a beautiful warm reception Don. yes it is. <laughs> certainly certainly was nice and it's uh i must say this is our first time that we've had the chance to ever really sit here and talk like this it's so. a terrific privilege john because <laughs> my very good lady gwen patterson my lady wife is your is it, is number one fan is this her here <laughs> no, i might no, say no. this is i'm sorry I, this is samantha <laughs> sam my like, what? and research assistant uh, she's until recently been a top uh, a top uh, a top model in bangkok and i uh -oh. picked her up on the way out here and uh, she uh, takes dictation she's very very useful when you're getting ideas she like i am constantly if something comes up in the middle of the night she's very very useful. she takes dictation uh, is she fast well, she's quite fast enough for an old bloke like me. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't really dress like a secretary, but I she think doesn't. That's the but my big Bangkok is. <laughs> he got her off the street pretty much. <laughs> well, it is, and I have a, an image to maintain. You know, yes, uh, I... she wanted to wear something what? a bit more raunchy, but I thought for a show like this, and my wife is watching Gwen, Gwen Patterson. She never leaves the home, unfortunately. She suffers from this. Uh, agoraphobia or whatever she hasn't been out of our home in Melbourne for many many years but she's a lovely girl Gwenny how are you Gwen? I'm talking to Don I've got the autograph books here by the way oh. if afterwards you'd be kind enough I've got my son Craig and my oh certainly I'd be, uh, oh my uh, be a delight look Karen this is a big thrill for me you know well, right. you wouldn't think <laughs> You wouldn't think a bloke in my position could be a bit stage struck, but I am Donald, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, eh? <laughs> Incidentally, I must apologize. When I shook your hand, I, I yeah, it was a bit messy. Ew! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is a bit that? of cheese on it. I, uh, I've just been to a tasting at the Australian Cheese Board. I uh, I sit on the cheese board as a matter of fact, <laughs> and that can be uncomfortable. Those little flags get up yeah. your ass. <laughs> A little yes, it's an it's a New Zealand camembert, and uh, <laughs> I can the smell. I can pick a South Island from a North Island. Can you? You know, I can. I think South, North. It's incredible, <laughs> really. What sometimes, is the, hmm? what is the? There's a fine distinction, like wines. You say. Yeah, is there is. Sometimes you're in the mood for a bit of the North, and sometimes a bit of the South. <laughs> you with me, fellas? Yeah. <laughs> we talk about the thing that's on everyone's lips and I'm sure someone like yourself who has mixed and mingled with the top echelons of governments uh, you could say it world. better Don well <laughs> what about the political scene at the moment in uh, Australia well what about it you know uh, 
here we are in Australia and it's a, it's a dramatic time in our history and we're faced really with a choice between a farmer with lockjaw and a dry drunk. <laughs> I mean, it's as simple as that, isn't it? <laughs> as simple as that. <laughs> First of all, who is taking political views from Sirless Patterson? Okay, look how he looks. Look at it. very nice blokes. I know them personally and I have to sit on the fence. I, I, I you know, I'm a career diplomat and I have to uh, keep bipartisan here with me. Where are you placed at the moment as a career diplomat? Well, I'm swinging, you know, ex ex except when I sit down. <laughs> you said it's swinging. I, I have to sit on the fence because I'm back in Melbourne sitting on the fence comes pretty naturally to us at the moment, you know, sitting up there dobbing in the people who use the houses. Yeah, right. <laughs> I tell you, if you're an Australian politician, shafting your next door neighbour comes second nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! The lady next door, as soon as she picks up the hose, I'm going to give her buggery. I'm telling you. <laughs> And they tried to do a Vince scare on me, viewers. You know, they got shot of me. And then the time comes when Les is the man of the moment. And I think if there was a poll throughout Australia as to who was our most popular statesman, I reckon I'd come pretty high on the list, eh? Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Listen to that. There's the concession of the Well, why, why haven't you ever used that? Uh... <laughs> oh. Sorry, Les. Excuse me, we have an ashtray for Mr. Uh, yes, please. The ashtray's on its way. It's a, we, had a, we had up the budget to get this for you. Uh, Very good. Uh, However, uh, where, which way is it going to go, though? You want to make a prediction on the election? I or would you rather stay at the moment? moment. <laughs> it's very, very difficult. You know? Mel himself said that to me the other day. He said, frankly, yes, are they going to vote for that bloke, Bob? And I said, no way, Mel. I said, they're too scared you'll give them all a job. You know what I mean? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sure there are a lot of... Who wants a job, for Christ's sake? <laughs> Just give him a job. There's a lot of, there are a lot of uh, realistic things coming out of your mouth at the moment, but the lady's not taking any notes. Uh, oh, no, she's shopping down this and that. <laughs> right, Sammy? She's fantastic, she, right? Anyway. <laughs> she's not you taking notes. This, uh, this award, you were, you were, you were... Are you looking for a political post? I mean, you were in a, a cultural attaché. You've spent your time in London now. Uh, what about... Uh... Well, I've done my apprenticeship. I'm the most experienced man. You see, as, as Bob said to me the other day, he said, Les, you have bringing experience to bear, and they've both been seeking my advice behind the scenes, you mm. know. I've been telling Bob to ease off, you know. I said, you know, take it easy, quietly go. You know, I've noticed he's been subdued because of me. Because of me. <laughs> really? And I've said, you know, stick to the old state of the water. So I said, when you're elected, it's a different matter, mate, you know? <laughs> you can let her rip if necessary. I said, you can get as full as a Catholic school. <laughs> he, said, he said to me, he said, don't mention those bastards to me, Les. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> That's a, that oh, my God. That's lovely, though, because when you're in it, these people become human, you know? You look at them and you see them doing their adverts and you think these are remote people. To me, they're mates, really. I know their strengths. I know their weaknesses. <laughs> and I need to relax a bit, you know? Uh, I have a little bit of recreational activity from time to time. Yeah. And, uh, I had a phone call from my old mate Norm Gallagher the other day, as you know. He's having a bit of a rest. Yeah. <laughs> I said, how is it there, Norm? He said, you'd be amazed, Les. He said, an incredible number of my close personal friends are in there. <laughs> he, said, he said, my big worry, this is old Norm talking to me. You know, I know the lot, you know, the whole spectrum. And he said, it's amazing, Les. He said, what worries me is if we have a prison riot, he said, you know, when they all bang their mugs on the bars. <laughs> He said, I might break my bone china. 
like yourself make the adjustment right after all you have an rsl background you were a yes. club manager you were involved deeply in australian entertainment oh, well, you've done your homework donald <laughs> well i mean i remember all of these things i know that but i mean you've done it how do you make that transition from behind the scenes to stepping up front i mean you do open the show for dame edna well it's still an incredible your... story really you know oh, what? Man, oh, underneath. <laughs> what? <laughs> why is he Drooling. Look. <laughs> I just want to know why is he drooling? <laughs> why he look like that? <laughs> oh my god, he needs to stay working behind the scenes. Like you don't need to be the face of anything right now. I don't know if I don't know if the viewers realize this, but underneath. You know, I've got a lot of pizzazz at the moment, show business. Uh, but underneath, <laughs> I'm a bit of a rough diamond, ladies and gentlemen. I, Clearly, I'm this very rough. of international sophistication. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit of a rough diamond, like Bob Hawke. You know, you scratch a bit and underneath, you know, he's a pretty ordinary sort of uh, bloke too. But uh, very ordinary, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Well, I've like been in the entertainment world, then I went to Honkers, and where I was Australian cultural attaché for the tinted areas, and then <laughs> the little the little Burke Street of the Pacific, as it's sometimes called, and then I went to London, the big job. But I'm looking forward to the Governor Generalship, and I'm hoping whoever wins this election, and you know, it's like that. Whoever wins it is going to think of Les Patterson for Governor General because I'm in with Dame Edna. She doesn't talk to me as a matter of no. fact. She's a, a little bit, you know, she doesn't like the odd, uh, well. However, let's be that as a Do you change well, I'm a drinker? afraid she's a bit of a, a wowser when it comes to me. <laughs> <laughs> However, I admire the woman and I kick off her show, the song. Uh, that which is opening here. Let's see, we got the dates. The Melbourne Concert Hall of Victoria. Oh, the Oxford. Concert Hall in Melbourne. We've done Sydney. It's been beautiful. And here we are in Moomba in Melbourne. The show is from Melbourne, but it goes out everywhere. <laughs> and uh, we're there. And on the 20th, I should say this. Well, from March the 2nd to the 12th, November the 3rd, you got oh, extra shows. You don't have to plug it. It's sold out, Don. <laughs> but, uh, you, think you don't have to plug it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Don. I'll tell you what. Australia needs a good time, and it's never before now has been in the last so much. And if by accident we can make them smile, but of course there's a few people, particularly in Victoria and southeastern Australia, who haven't been smiling lately. And the Hizzler's getting a bit serious now. On the 20th of March, Ryan Humphrey uh, and Dame Edna and me are doing a show for the bushfire relief on the 20th of March, folks. And uh, that's at the Melbourne Concert Hall. The whole show is donated for the uh, push by relief. Okay. And that's on the note. <laughs> then uh, would like to and, uh, <laughs> you don't need no more. You don't need no more. Little, if I may. No, no applause accepted there because this is something we want to do. And the theatre's been donated. A beautiful Melbourne concert hall. Okay. And the tickets from the 2nd of March at Mitchell Bass. And nine did their job, I understand by the way, Donald, and still a bit serious, old Les Patterson, because I've got the serious <laughs> side. Uh, <laughs> you did that, you and, and uh, Mike Walsh and the whole mob at nine done that at short notice, while having their lunch, the tragedy strikes, and they say, we're gonna do that telethon tonight, and everything gets canceled, and boy, what a show that was, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? And they raised a fantastic amount. So, uh, so Leslie Colin Patterson, the first time you've had a chat. Oh, a nice bit of Tasmanian cheddar there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's first been time good, Donald, to see you. Nice to see you. You give again. my warmest greetings to Bert. And these autograph books, can I leave them? My sure. daughter, a little daughter Karen, who's at the Star of the Sea here in Melbourne. Right. And uh, <laughs> my son, Craig, who's at uh, 
uh, St. Kevin's and looking forward to a job in the taxation department. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to be passing exams, I don't know where he'll work. <laughs> this is my wife. <laughs> Sir Leslie, Colin Patterson, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this character is definitely hilarious. But I really would like to know why he looks the way that he looks. There has to be some type of context. Comment down below and let me please let me know. Please let me know the reason why he looked the way he looked. Oh my god. Definitely hilarious. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Definitely hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye fam.